my basement. Oh, I don't have my sunglasses. I just recorded a whole video without them. All right, much better. To be honest though, I felt like my hair actually looked kind of good without my sunglasses there, but you never know when it's gonna get very, very sunny indoors all of a sudden. Sorry, I apologize for my noisy chair. Not that sorry. If I was that sorry, I just wouldn't use this chair. People of the world, friends and relatives, this song is in drop C sharp, which means you tune down a half step on every string, and then you tune your top string down an additional full step. It's, it's like drop D tuning a half step down. Here's what you can do. You can grab your capo. I don't have one, so I'll just have my tuner. Pretend it's a capo. Put your capo on the first fret, go to standard tuning, Get rid of your capo and then tune your top string down until it matches your third string from the top. That was confusing. That wasn't a hack. That was just me saying words. Can we learn the song now? Jumping Jupiter. I'm just in drop D tuning. So if you want to play along with me, you don't have to detune all the way down to drop C sharp. Just tune your top string down to D. That's all you have to do. All right. I also got rid of some of the distortion. That was too much. It was too noisy. Couldn't hear the notes. You kids with your distortion. One, two, it goes like this. Let me show you that. That's like the main riff. It's the intro and it's the chorus. You just take your pointer finger. You smash it down on the third fret of the top three strings. Just one finger, all three strings, and then you're going to strum those three strings. You're going to strum down, then strum down again. So it's down, down, then you're going to strum up. And when you strum up, just aim for those top three strings. It goes down, down, up, two, three, four, down, down, up. At this point in time, we're gonna jump up to the seventh fret. Your pointer finger plays the seventh fret just on the second string from the top. The top string is open and we're gonna go like this. So here's what happened. I strummed down on the top two strings while my pointer finger was on seven. Then my middle finger went to eight on the second string from the top. I strummed up. Then I went back down to seven with my pointer finger and strummed down again. And then I just did that exact same thing again. So I do it twice in a row. You're thinking, Uncle Stuart, I'm trying to play it and it sounds like this. How come? What, is my guitar broken? Do I need to buy a new guitar? Tell me what guitar to buy. No, you don't have to buy a new guitar. What you can do, what you should do, what I didn't say, what you need to do is so top strings open, pointer fingers play in that seventh fret on the second string from the top, but the, the, the tip of your finger is pushing on that seventh fret of the second string from the top. The rest of your finger is touching the rest of the strings. It's just touching them. Can you see that? It mutes the strings, so then even if you play those notes, it doesn't sound like you're playing those notes. If I just use the tip of my finger like that, see, not touching, now look. Touching. That's how touching works. Then you're gonna play the seventh fret with your, with your pointer finger. You're gonna smash down on the seventh fret of the top three strings. You're gonna go down, down, up exactly like you did on the third fret. So, so far, here's what we have. We have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. One more part to finish this riff. You're gonna, your pointer finger right now is smashing it on seven on the top three strings. Just move that one, two, three frets up. So now it's on 10 of the top three strings, but take your ring finger and play the 12th fret of the third string from the top. People, look at that. My name's Stuart, welcome. Consider liking and subscribing to my channel. So many videos. I have so many more basement videos. This is the only one. Unless this is in the future, maybe I've done more. So far, this is the only basement video. To be, if we're being perfectly honest, I only heard about basement a couple weeks ago. They're, they're good. I'm telling you, they're good. This was, what was this, like 2013? A little bit of a musical blind spot for me, people. On that chord, you're gonna strum down, up, down, down, down. Do it with me, here we go. Down, up, down, down, down. We have now, well, no, we haven't completed the intro. We have one more little thing, but let's let's play what we've done so far. We've got this one, then we go jun ka jun jun ka jun then we go to this chord, then we go to this one. Let's do it. One, two, a nice and slow, and uh. I lied to you about one little thing. I told you that on this first chord, we were gonna strum down, down, up. The truth is, when we strum up, 
We abandon this chord and we start getting ready for this one. We go like down, down, up, down, up, down. So you just kind of strum the open strings as you're getting ready to play the seventh fret on the second string. Otherwise, you have to like jerk your hand too fast. You go. And it just, you kill the flow of the song, guys. You're destroying this song without playing the open strings. Just so let's try, let's do that together once because it's kind of important actually. One. One, two, three, four. Down, down, open seven, eight, dun, 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 dun. Do it again a little bit slower. Bound, bound, ga bum, ga bum, bum, ga bum. Then to finish up the intro, we just start that whole thing over again. We go back to the third fret on the top three strings. Down. Up. Then we go up to the seventh fret on the second string from the top. We do our seven, eight, seven, seven, eight, seven. We do that thing again. Then we go back to seven on the top three strings, but we're just gonna play this chord once and hold it out for four beats. One, two, three, four. Let's take it from, take it from the very beginning of the whole intro. We have just completed the introduction to the song. Back from the very beginning. One, two, three, four, and a, oh. We have now completed the introduction to the song, which takes us to the chorus of the song. The chorus is where everybody joins in, all the guitars, all the drums, all the bass. It's nice and loud and powerful. It's a very good time had by all. Here's what we do. We just first, we start, we first, we just, the main, in the, for the chorus, we play the main riff two times. What's the main riff? The main riff is that first part we just played. The main riff is this. That's the main riff right there. We do that two times. Then we're gonna, the lead part kicks in. The lead guitar goes like this. It goes. Let's learn it. Smash down on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom and the third string from the bottom with your pointer finger. So it's like that. See, I'm just smashing down on the fifth fret of both those strings. You're gonna play third string from the bottom. Then play the second string from the bottom, back to the third from the bottom, back to the second from the bottom. Okay, not too bad. Bonga, bonga. Then put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string from the bottom. You're gonna go like this. So what I did there is I played third from the bottom, second from the bottom, second from the bottom, third from the bottom, kind of fast. I'll give you a close up. You can also alternate your pick direction if you want. So I went down, up, down, up. Not a terrible idea. Um, and then I went back to the second to bottom string. Then I got rid of my ring finger, played five on the second to bottom string, and then played the third string from the bottom again. We're halfway through the lead guitar part. Let's play it together very slowly, but let me just fix this situation over here. I don't know what's going on. Play it with me nice and slow and Okay, it'll take some practice. Moving on. Have your pointer finger stay basically in that same spot. It's gonna play the fifth fret on the third string from the bottom, but reach your ring finger up to the seventh fret of the third string from the top. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go. So here's what that was. I played that seventh fret on the third from the top. Then I went down to the fifth fret on the third from the bottom, went back to the seventh fret, went back to the fifth fret, but then I moved my finger back to the fourth fret and played that note, last note. So that was boom, bam, boom, bam, bam. And the speed is like slow, 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 fast, fast. One more little part for the lead guitar. So now your pointer finger's on the fourth fret right there. Bring your middle finger up to the fifth fret of the third string from the top and play five, four, five. So that was just third from the top, third from the bottom, third from the top. Then with your ring finger, play the 
fifth fret on the third from the bottom. Play that note. Get rid of your ring finger, play the same string, and then go back to five on the third string from the top. That part there was... The rhythm is slow, fast, 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 slow. Guys, this whole lead part, are we ready to play it all the way through? Get your pointer finger mashed down on the fifth fret. Here we go. We're gonna do a medium speed. We're gonna go like... And a one, two, buckle my shoe. And five, 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 five. That's the lead part for the chorus. We do that two times. So the way, what I like to do for the chorus is I play the main riff twice, then I play that lead riff twice. Should we, we should probably do that because we need practice playing it anyway. So let's go ahead and do it. One, two, main riff, here we go. It's time for the verse. In the verse, the, ba the guitar actually completely drops out. But let's pretend that you're playing all by yourself, not with the band, and you're like, so what am I supposed to do? Just not play? No, we'll learn the bass part on the guitar. How about that? The bass part goes like this. It goes... It goes like this. I'm playing each note four times. I'm playing the third fret on the top string. One, two, three, four, up to the 12th fret. I'm just kind of sliding it. Well, one, two, three, slide up to 12. Then I'm going to another fret, the seventh fret. Two, three, four, and then up to the 10th fret. That's it. It's just three, 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 12, 12, 12, 12, seven, 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 10, 10, 10, 10. Do that twice. my pointer finger for every single note over here. It doesn't even matter. It's so simple. It's so easy. Bass players have it so easy. Stirring up some controversy here. I'm a, I'm a bass player first and foremost, so I'm allowed to say that. Like most of the bands I've been in, I've played bass, and so I'm allowed to say the bass players have it easy, especially if I say it in a joking way. Bass players have it easy. This is, I don't like this bit. This is a bad bit. That's not even the real bass part. That's a simplified bass part. It gets the job done. Look, I'm just making stuff up. Then we get to the guitar part for the verse. So the bass does that twice, then the guitar goes like this. So here's what that is. I'm mashed down on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom and third string from the bottom, just like we did for the that part. I'm gonna play the second string from the bottom and third string from the bottom, but that's it, just those two strings. And I'm gonna palm mute a little bit. So that means you take this part of your hand and very gently set it right here. So I'm, I'm gonna play that, I think 16 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, 16 times. But I'm not counting to 16, I'm counting to eight two times. It's just way easier to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to go to the next chord that we did for the little lead guitar part in the verse. I'm going to do pointer finger, fifth fret, third string from the bottom, ring finger, seventh fret, third string from the top. I'm going to play those middle two strings eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to switch to a four on the third string from the bottom and five on the third string from the top. I'm gonna play that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this whole thing goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Then you do it again. You do it twice. Everything is twice in this song. It's then rule of twos. Okay, then we get to the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus goes like this. It's so easy, so simple. Your pointer finger is going to mash down on the eighth fret of the top two strings like this. Ring finger comes down to 10 on the third string from the top. And we're gonna strum now on, I think it's 16 times. We're gonna go nice and slow though. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Then take your middle finger and add it to the ninth fret of the third string from the bottom and play it another 16 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, we've now made it to the chorus of the song. Guess what? We've already learned the chorus. The chorus was just this part, the part where we go. We do that twice and then we do the... That twice, that's the chorus. And then we're almost done with the song, you guys. How crazy is that? After they play through the chorus, they just go back and play the verse again. The bass is doing something a little bit like faster and more intense, but we don't have to worry about that. But then when the guitar comes in for the second chorus, there's this little bendy lead part going on. It's going like... I can't tell entirely what it's doing, but it's very close to that. So put your pointer finger on the 10th fret of the second to bottom string, put your ring finger on the 12th fret of the third string from the bottom, but then have your middle finger right behind your ring finger on the same string. You're gonna play those two strings, and then you're gonna bend the third string from the top, but try to keep, oh, I'm sorry, third string from the bottom people of the world, um, but try to keep your pointer finger in the same spot. So we're bending that one string and keeping the other one the same. You're gonna do that twice. And then we're gonna, I kind of like alternate between the two strings a little bit. I go. It's got that kind of bluesy sound. You put a bunch of distortion on there. Sounds great. I'm not too worried about it. I would just skip that part. Uh, and then how do we end the song? To end the song, when we, we just, when we're playing through the chorus for the last time, we do the. And we just play that first chord and we just hold that out. So how about let's play through the whole form of the song once. We'll play through all the parts once. I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of distortion to my guitar and we'll play through it nice and slow. Sound like a plan? Let me just reach over here, make this adjustment. One, two, three, four. Then the bass, I forget what to do. I'll come in this time, here we go. And then here we go. up that last part. I always do that. I always mess up at the very end. Yeah. 